Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivy and this is Hang with Ivy and uh, you guys Ningependa Kwanza Kusema thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, you guys are uh, the best. Mume mume overdue kikuja kwa you please. And the leni vivio hivyo. So say to me 800 and what? 38 39. The last time I checked, it was 839. So, asante ni sana. May God bless you. So, uh, last Wednesday, I gave you guys a story. Um, last time, I gave you guys a story time. And, yes, you guys checked up on me. Anyway, wacheni ni wambetu. Let me tell you guys something. When, I'm, when I come here and give you guys a story time it's because nime i'm okay like nime accept what happened and i i moved on from it like for me now it's a funny story that's why i was even laughing about the story it's like it's a it's a funny story i'll tell my children one day to warn them yeah so nikki wapea story time don't worry about me niko sawa of course it's traumatic but niko sawa it's not traumatizing to me so i'm about to give you guys another traumatizing story that happened to me this one was crazy this one is crazy so today i'm about to tell you guys a story about a time when my bedmate was almost beaten to death to cure primary so you know how but they you know this is the reason why see why when people say uh, a student died in school because of being beaten, eh, me water si si shtuki si onange kiwa like false no nanga tu ikiwa ukweli kabisa because we shule tulikuwa tunapigwa these days people are not even beaten we you are beaten as if the teacher is removing stress and all their drama out of you. So there's this one time uh, I went to bed. And this bedmate of mine will kawale like they're older than you, so they're they're so nice, they like to take care of you and everything. So there's this one time I'm going to bed, kulala, and she's not there. So me I'm like, eh, where is my bedmate? Kwani nini mefanyika? And me, I was taken to boarding rather early for good reason. I was taken to boarding in class four, so I had a lot of mommy figures in primary so she was like my mommy figure mommy friend figure so i was i was so worried where is my where is my mom a copy a copy a copy so someone tells me ati wakoko kwa ofisi wanapigwa i'm like ah wanapigwa jo mefa nini and there this girl is nice ati apparently you know these people who took you a boarding they used to find uh, solace in like being together in like a group so that you're eating together you're you're basically around each other most of the time muko mkiwa pe mko kruko ukiona if one person is not around you ask the other person where this person is because they most definitely know where the person is so she used to be in this car crew with these other boys and girls. And they were upper class, seven class eight. So like they were in this car crew and they never used to do anything crazy. They were just a crew. Like ile mki buy lunch, mna buy lunch pa moja, mna buy avocado, mna share like in like mna ka pa moja ivi, mna share, mna piga story pa moja, you walk around with each other, you you dress the same way nini nini so they never used to do anything wrong they were just a crew but for some reason teachers don't like don't like people being in like a crew like that so the reason they were being beaten is because someone the teacher was saying that they are a cult that they have formed a cult in school and i was like eh what do you mean a cult what do you mean a cult? The way me and her are close, if she was someone 
um to a cult she even would have tried to make me join that cult of theirs at their cult called black whalers at the they are they are bringing people into into alcoholism and see what they 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 pack alcohol see they do what cult things and i was like ah aje sasa and let me tell you something those girls were beaten like ile beating ya they were there's this teacher who akikuta ko ofisi yake he used to put you and that like the head is under the desk so that and the place is cramped like this so that you can't move and then he starts beating you when you move una gongwa na desk when you move una gongwa na desk so it's 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 better for you to just stay still and endure the beating and let me tell you something if those kids did not die that night because they were being beaten so that they can say other crew members like so that they can snitch other people who they don't even like they they don't even know who black whalers are at this point so you're being beaten to say things that you don't know and at that point you know you can just say anything so that the beating stops anything that comes in your head so by the time they were coming to the dorm they were bleeding like they were bleeding the backs were bleeding like ile kabisa kabisa it was so bad and me in my head i was just wondering why not just call their parents and tell them to go home if it's so bad why not just call their parents and tell them to go home because now you've beaten these children to the point where these kids cannot even they could not even sleep that night because mko hapo mnawapanguza panguza mna try kuwa massage like with with cold water because sasa sasa yote atoa wapi hot water na try kwa panguza panguza like they were crying they were just like hey and then the next day their parents were called to come pick them up so in the morning they were expelled so ulipigwa kichapo cha mbwa usiku and then you're expelled in the morning why not just expel them in the first place eh anyway let me tell you guys something never i feel like never as a parent usiwai kwa usiwai kubali mtoto wako amekufa hivyo tu if your child dies in school and they say it's because they were beaten believe them because it doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what the child did just call the parent ampeleke nyumbani because even me you can't beat my child like that and i pay school fees in that school so i pay school fees for my child to die mm -mm. kuna kuchapa na kuna kichapo cha mbwa na hiyo ilikuwa kichapo cha mbwa let me tell you something as a parent there's a time I went home and I told my mom because my mom has a background in nursing. So there's a time I went home and I told my mom in that same school we had started being beaten under your feet. Like here, watch and on Like here. Hapo ndo chukua tumeanza kupigwa with our teacher. So like if you fail exam she was saying because tukichapa kwa mkono mgongo matako hatuski so atichape place yenye itakuwa uchungu kabisa so me i went home like that day when we were beaten we, we could not walk the whole class when we were going for for break we were like you are tiptoeing because you've been beaten the whole lesson na ilikuwa maths double so you know even after break you're going to go and get beaten again. So you are told lesson itafunzwa ukiwa umeka juu ya desk. So tulikuwa hapo juu ya desk. Ukifail unachapwa chini ya miguu. And everyone was beaten because ilikuwa your time exam. Everyone was beaten. So I went home and I told my mom, "Unajua this time our teacher has been beating us up under your feet." My mom got so mad and in that school people you were so afraid of my mom because mamangu akiwaka she's nice but akiwaka akiwaka you don't want to be around her so i went and told her me i was just telling her as a, like a story actually i didn't know she atawaka to that extent tell me why we went to school with my mom and that teacher almost got fired that show almost got fired because my mom explained all those nursing things. You know how ukichapa mtoto chini ya miguu anaweza kufa because unaweza chapa vein by mistake. Mtoto wangu akitaka kuchapo achape kwa matako kama eh hey. it was so bad to the extent where my desk was literally carried from that class to a different class. 
my mom said my I should never find my daughter in that woman's class again. So nilikuwa na chukiwa na teachers shule but anyway my mom was my mom was very feared. We never used to go to school day one. We used to go to school day two and we never got lectured because of my mom. And I think that helped because he mimi hata ningekuwa among those black willers I don't think ningechapo hivyo because they know my mom. As a parent tafadhali be strict. Be strict. Be strict. Anyway, that was just a short story for you guys because the last one was so traumatizing. Ni ma ni kwa pair like a short story. See you on the next one. Bye. Turn you again.